So these are uh, broccoli sprouts. These are actually. This sci fi looking lab is what's known as a vertical smart farm. We grow up to day 10, harvest, and then package, ship down to Winnipeg. And there's no soil? No. Full spectrum LED lights mimic sunshine. I'm just going to water these guys. Give them Artificial about. intelligence controls temperature, moisture, carbon dioxide, and nutrient levels. So they're looking at different wavelengths and different uh, times of growth to yeah. see when is the best time to harvest them yeah. so that they will be the most nutritious. Yes, that's correct. Researchers have found stimulating production of specific compounds and vegetables like potassium and manganese makes these veggies more nutritious than grocery store produce. Typically two times to 11 times higher, right? Especially the manganese was very high then it, they can consume much less, but they still the same benefits. Almost half of the adult population in this remote northern community is suffering from type 2 diabetes. Leaders say there's an average of three diabetes-related deaths every month. And part of the challenge is encouraging people to cook and eat these smart vegetables. I'll be honest, the first four months of working here, I didn't really eat the product because I was scared of it. There's a lot of stigma that we were met with. People were like, oh, it, you know, it's artificial, it's fake food. So food scientists developed recipes, cooked them, and brought a meal to the local shopping mall. Do you like to try some chili with kale? You don't notice it that much. And then we just have some sage and kale cornbread muffins. It tastes more healthy, more, like, more natural. Yeah, that's what I think. Have you ever eaten kale before? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> kale, first time trying that, and with everything else, it's great. Do you think you might cook with this more often? Yes, for sure. The goal is to educate people on how smart veggies contribute to a healthy diet and ultimately save lives. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Opasquayak Cree Nation, Manitoba.